This tutorial shows the principles of how to make a chest full of gold. It shows how to use rigid body physics, which is now available outside the game engine from Blender version 2.66 onwards. Click the object button in the properties window. I'm going to set the Z location to be 1 and the Y scale to be 2 and because I'm going to make the cube a parent later I'm going to apply the location in the object menu apply the scale go into edit mode and face select mode zoom in with the mouse wheel and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view select the top face mesh menu Faces, inset faces, shortcut key is I. I'm going to type point 1 and enter. Select the inset face. Press E to extrude, immediately followed by enter. G to grab. Z for the Z direction. Minus 1 and enter. I've quickly made the base of a chest with a false bottom so we don't have to fill it with too many coins. For the material, I'm just going to set the diffuse color to be a dark brown. Go into object mode, change the view to the right view, pan, shift and middle mouse button, and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Add mesh cylinder, add a new material, and set the diffuse color to be a yellowy goldy color. Click the object button, set the Z location to be 4 and the Z scale to be 0.1 and enter. Press S to scale, 0.2 and enter. From Blender version 2.66 onwards, Rigid body physics are available for use in the Blender renderer and in the Cycles renderer. In the tool shelf, there is a new panel, Rigid Body Tools. And if I click the Physics button, there are two new buttons there. With the coin selected, if I click Add Active, the physics are set up, and if I click Play, the coin drops. I'm going to save before I take a quick look at what's going on. Dragging on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and again for a second new window. First new window I'm going to make a graph editor window, the second window a dope sheet window. Now if I press play the physics engine calculates the position of the coin. The light brown line shows where the calculations have been done and the results are kept until I make changes to the coin. If I click this button, Baked Keyframes, and if I set the frame step to 25, which over 250 frames will give us 10 keyframes, and in the Graph Editor window, View All, and if I press Play, the coin drops as before, but now the movement is controlled by Blender interpolating between keyframes. We can mix and match. If I add Mesh UV sphere and move that up and across. Now, if I apply rigid body physics to the sphere, now if I press play, both drop, but the movement of the coin is controlled by keyframes and the movement of the sphere is controlled by the physics engine. If I go back to the file that I saved, next I want to make the coin fall into the chest, not through it. So I need to add physics to the chest. If I make it an active object, both the coin and the chest will fall. So I have to make it a passive object. Passive objects are static, but they collide with active objects. If I press play, the coin doesn't fall through the chest, but it falls below the level of the false bottom. So I need to do some work on collision bounds. The collision shape can be changed here in the tool shelf and here in the properties window. 
If we look at the documentation for collision shape, there are the basic shapes and there are two types of mesh based shapes. Convex hull, convex approximation of the object has good performance and stability and mesh allows to simulate concave objects but is rather slow and unstable. Unfortunately our chest is a concave object. If I change the collision shape to convex hull and press play the coin stops at the outer bounds of the chest. If I change the shape to box and press play, the coin hits the base of the chest, but we'll have problems later with coins going through the walls. The workaround for that would be to make four separate box object walls. The simplest solution though is to put the shape back to mesh and although the coin goes through the base of the chest, when we fill the chest with coins, that won't be a problem. I'm going to duplicate the coin to make a set of coins. Now I could choose Duplicate Object Shift and D, but Duplicate Linked has three advantages. A smaller file size, if you update one coin all will be updated, and it makes it easier to select all the coins. So I'm going to hold down Alt and press D, followed by Enter. Now if I press play, we have two coins and the problem of the coin going through the base seems to have gone as well. We now have two coins. In the outliner window they are cylinder and cylinder 1. To double the number of coins we must select them both. I'm going to do a B select, press B on the keyboard and drag. Now I'm going to duplicate Alt and D to duplicate linked and press enter and now we have four coins. To double the number of coins B select Alt, D and Enter and now we have 8 coins. B select, Alt, D and Enter. Now we have 16 coins occupying the same space. Now rigid bodies shouldn't occupy the same space so Blender will move the coins to separate them and with 16 that becomes quite explosive. B select, Alt, D and Enter. Now with 32 coins it becomes so explosive some of the coins miss the chest. So I'm going to use the tip of the blue arrow to move the newly duplicated coins down a bit and that is less explosive. B select, Alt, D and Enter and move the duplicates down. B select, Alt, D and Enter and move the duplicates across. B select, Alt, D and Enter and move the duplicates across. B select, now I've got 256 coins, I'm not going to duplicate again, I'm just going to center them and play the animation. Now the computer goes slowly because there's so many coins it has to calculate the position for. We get a nice random spread of coins. Some of the coins miss the chest but most are captured. In this example I'm not interested in the animation only the final model. So I'm going to go to the final frame frame 250. I'm going to select the chest and do a B select so that I only select the coins that are in the chest. Alt and D to duplicate and enter and move the duplicate to the side. I'm going to go back to frame 1 and select the original chest, B select and delete the original model. If I select the chest and move it, the coins are left behind, Control and Z. If I make the chest the parent of the coins, they will follow the chest. Select a coin in the select menu, linked, object data. And because the coins are linked, all are selected. With them all selected, I can use the tip of the blue arrow to move them up to make the chest look even fuller. 
hold down shift and select the chest in the object menu parent object object now if I select the chest and move it the coins follow press B and drag to B select the chest and all the coins now we don't need the rigid body physics anymore so click the remove button if we want to append the model into a different file we need to group it B select in the object menu group create new group with any of the objects selected click the object button and give the group a meaningful name treasure file save file new move the cube to the side file append go to the folder select the file go into the group folder select the model and append that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the finished file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye